In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to design a matted album. The process is the same for either the 700-800 traditional matted albums or the 7500-8500 modern matted albums. A matted album is one where the print is inlaid into a framed opening. As with any matted album produced by Leather Craftsman, you can incorporate flush panorama pages. The window open here is where you physically design your album. To start, let's look at the cover swatch in the upper left hand corner. Don't be alarmed that the size of the cover swatch is larger than the album you chose. This is normal. The album will start with the left side of spread 1 non-designable and the right side designable. The remaining spreads are fully designable. To design your cover, double click on the cover swatch and it will now appear on the right side of the screen. If you have selected a cover photo as one of your options in the ordering phase, you do need to design your cover in this window. If you have not, you can skip ahead. To design your cover, first we must add a layer. To do that, we click on the Add button and then click and drag to any size to add our layer. In this example, I'm going to make this layer a 5x5 five five for our cover photo. To do that, I change the width to 5 and the height to 5. Now I'm going to move the layer to the approximate location I'd like it on the cover. To make this task easier, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grid options so the rulers appear. I can now click and move this layer anywhere on the cover I want. And in this example, I'm going to move it into the bottom right hand corner. Now to add our image, I click on the Images button, select the image, click, drag, and drop it into the layer. Now to crop it, I just double click on the image inside the layer, and I can move my green crop box wherever I like. When I'm done, I'll click on the button that says Return to Designer. To move on to the next spread, we click on the Next button. Once you have finished designing your cover and you've clicked the next button, the designer will now move on to the inside of the album. At the top, you will see two radio buttons, matted and flush. By default, the spread can only be designed as a matted page. However, if you wanted a custom matted page or a custom panorama, you would click on the flush button. We will go further into this option in a different tutorial. At the bottom of the screen, you will see many different templates. Depending on the size of the album you are ordering, you may need to change the group of templates. By default, the 10x10 10 10, 800-8500 will open. However, if you are ordering a different size album, for example a 10x12 700 vertical or an 8x8 8 8 800 square, you can change your group size by simply clicking on the drop down menu and selecting the corresponding template size to the album you chose in the ordering phase. For this example, we are going to choose the 10x10 10 10 800-8500 template group. To populate a template, simply double click on the template you want to use. A window will open asking you what you want to do with that template. For this example, we can only change the right side of the, of the spread, so we will click on the change right side button. Now, to populate this template with an image, click on the Images button, select your template, click, drag, and drop it into the opening. You have now placed your image in the book, but it still may need to be cropped. To do that, just double click on the image inside the opening. You will now see the full size image with a green box. You can move this box anywhere inside the image. You can also make it larger or smaller by clicking and dragging on any one of the four corners. Please be aware that the green crop box does not allow for the trimming of the prints that will be done when your album is in production. Our recommendation is that you leave extra room on all four sides of this box to allow for that trimming. When you are done cropping your images, please click the Return to Designer button at the bottom. To move to the next spread, simply click on the Next button at the bottom of the screen. Your design will automatically save and move to the next spread. Now to go back and select a new template for the next spread, click on the Templates tab to the left of your images. 
All of the templates are included in the print to bind program, including the half, three quarter, and full panoramas. As you design, you may want to add more spreads to your album. To add more spreads, simply click on the Add Spread button in the bottom left hand corner of the design window. The new spread will appear below your last designed spread or above the final spread. To populate, just double click on the spread in the left hand portion of the design window. When you are about to complete your design, you may notice another half white, half black spread. This is your final spread. You cannot delete this spread or you will not be able to submit the order. If by accident you do delete the final spread, you can always add a new one by clicking on the Add Final Spread button in the bottom left hand corner of the design window. When you have finished designing the final spread of the album, click on the Save Page button. You are now ready to continue with the ordering process. Finally, click the Finish button. You will now see the final window associated with the ordering phase. In this window, you can order custom end papers, a custom slipcase, request a drop ship address, or indicate any special instructions. When you are finished here, please click the Finish button. You can now continue on to Step 3, Review Order.